normal when we go into the woods, we're in the truck, but uh, since we're already in the family ride, we're going through the woods in the SUV today. Things we do for our children. Shot a deer the first time. Look at that. So they had already walked back to Pop's truck and she jumped in the car with us. So we're going to check it out as soon as we crawl through the mud here. We just went off the left hand didn't we? But we're going to have to wash our car when we get home. Uh-uh. No, this is your it's fault. It's pretty cold. No, it isn't. Mm, I'm glad no. it's all wheel drive. Did y'all walk all the way back to the truck? Yes. And walk all the way in here and walk all the way back. We seen a couple of deer, but I couldn't find them in the scope. Oh, yeah? They were right up there, and we were right here. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Did you get there all the water? Not every single In the other road over here? I think it's that away. Mm -hmm. that away. I see it laying in the road. You shoot it in the road? Or y'all drug it no. out? No. Uh, no. Um, it it was walking. Because yeah. it, it was doing this whenever it was walking. And it fell. Ooh. Pretty big for me. Are you gonna keep the antlers? Uh huh. What are you gonna do with them? Does it have antlers? Uh huh. Is that Here. what you're gonna do? first gun to fire oh I guess I don't know a year or so ago she picked it up started shooting right handed so we just assumed she was right handed well after a couple of weeks of practice and that deer she shot last week we realized that she feels comfortable holding the gun right handed but it's used in her left eye. So, she's left eye dominant, but feels like she should shoot the gun right handed. Guess who also was like that? Me. I'm left eye dominant and I had to teach myself how to shoot left handed at a very young age. So, I guess she's following in my footsteps. So, Anyway, we've practiced with it a little bit by shooting left-handed now, so this will actually be the first time she sh tries to shoot a deer left-handed if they see one this evening. So, anyway, Cassie did do a very good job on keeping the battery charged on the GoPro. So it's almost dead. So I don't know how much more footage we'll get this afternoon, but...
thing's got 1% battery left on it, but What did you see in the stand? A piggy. Piggy, piggy. Couldn't get a shot on it though, could we? Or could y'all? <clears throat> what I, what I tag? Armadillo. Oh, armadillo. We, uh, we're really excited about Blair taking that deer down. And, um, we just felt like there was something we should share. So, sorry for the ones that, uh, like to just keep it snakes in business but uh we just thought we'd throw that in there and uh we are really 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 happy with her and uh hopefully she'll get a chance to shoot some more here pretty soon as soon as the holidays slow back down so anyway let's uh let's get something out get back to snakes here for a little bit and uh yeah, I got something that we hatched out uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, she's put on some size, and I think I want to show her off. So let's check this thing out. So we done a slightly unusual pairing, and I done this pairing because I wanted an orange dream calico head desert ghost, preferably a female. Well, we hit that, but. What we also hit was this thing. This is a chocolate orange dream calico head desert ghost female. So the pairing that made this was a chocolate calico desert ghost to an orange dream. So not that crazy of a pairing, but geez, look what happened with this combination. You can really see the chocolate in the head. So obviously it's calico and obviously it's orange dream, but it almost looks like two different snakes. Like the, the front half of the snake looks completely different than the rear half. This is more typical of what you get on an orange dream calico and then the front part of it just screams chocolate. So really was a surprise with this combination. And uh, I, got a, I got a couple of things that I'm planning on doing for next year with the uh, chocolate orange dream stuff. So. We'll see what happens, but man, is that thing not crazy? Absolutely beautiful, right? So, once again, chocolate, orange dream, calico, 100% hit, desert ghost, 50% hit hypo. So, this is a girl, we're keeping her here, and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what the uh, visual desert ghost, possible visual desert ghost and hypo of this version turns out to be. So, as you know, we really like uh, desert ghost stuff here. Plan on producing a lot of hits this upcoming year, uh, a lot of double hits. So, I think it's a, a gene that has a ton of potential. We haven't even started producing animals that are are just going to be mind blowing. I absolutely believe it. So, so since we're talking about desert ghost stuff, um, a couple of months ago, we picked up this pastel red stripe head desert ghost from Justin, and uh, we just figured we'd bring her out and give you kind of an update on her as well. This is going to be the first red stripe for the desert ghost project for us. This is a girl, so she's she's got a little while to go, but. Just figured I'd give you an update on it. So I'm not a huge pastel fan, as everybody knows, but pastel desert ghost stuff is absolutely amazing. I really want to see what the Firefly Red Stripe Desert Ghost looks like. I'm sure Justin will probably beat us to it, but that's uh that's the goal with this one. I want to add fire into it, probably yellow belly, and we'll see. Really, uh, really curious as to what happens with the Blackhead Desert Ghost. I mean, uh, excuse me, the blackhead red striped desert ghost. I'd like to see that as well. So it might be a route that we take. So, but anyway, this sir again pastel red stripe, 100% hit desert ghost. So Craig's not here today, and 
it's just been it's, it's already becoming a crazy re- week with uh with thanksgiving coming up and my mind's not even in 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 this as far as the southern word so let's do this uh let's hear some of your southern words put them in the comments let's check it out thanks for watching our daddy's channel make sure you subscribe